Uh, how would you feel if Amazon came into your home to deliver a package? Hmm, Amazon, is that you inside the house? Uh, in Amazon's pursuit of faster, 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 the company announced same-day delivery for Prime users in Toronto, and that's certainly impressive on its own. Then the information comes along with a report that shows Amazon has working relationships with two companies that might someday give Amazon deliveries direct access to your home. Uh, August is a company that creates smartphone controlled internet connected locks for the home and Garage IO uh, builds connected garage door openers. At checkout, a user could opt for in-home delivery using those products and uh, in some cases all that extra packaging that Amazon's known for you get like this little thing and it's wrapped in this gigantic box um, you could opt to not you know have that removed from the delivery because it's coming straight from the warehouse I suppose uh, and so it would cut down on packaging and waste. Uh, that that part sounds good. The rest of it just sounds <laughs> like Amazon is, you know, at its best when they're making it convenient for us to just buy a bunch more stuff. Yeah, and not have to leave, not have to go anywhere. Just like, just set it on the counter, Amazon. Right. Okay. Open it up for me. Set it up. Just <laughs> yeah, that's use next. it. That's next. It's like the geek, the geek right. squad of Amazon. Yeah, next. exactly. Whatever I bought, use it for me because I'm in VR and I can't bother to <laughs> use the thing that I just bought. Yeah. Yeah, in VR. <laughs> it's incredible. I mean, they're really owning this space. You know, they want to own this space of, you know, home automation yeah. with the Echo. And then now, like, the smart lock and the, you know, the smart garage that so that you can easily get your packages. I mean, I guess it's if you never want to get off the couch or if you are not going to be home and you want your package. I mean, that happens sometimes. I usually get stuff delivered here at work, but, you know, then I'm not at work, so I have to come in and get it. So yeah. if it just, if I could just put a beacon inside me and Amazon could know wherever I was and just drop the thing on my head, that would work for yeah. me. I mean, it's pretty, pretty common to hear, and we've said it plenty of times on this show, that things like this are, you know, then you never have to leave the house. You can be as lazy as you want. And I think really what it boils down to actually is that people live hyper productive lives now. It's like our lives are so busy, so chaotic that the idea of also carving out time to go to the store to pick up that thing uh, doesn't make sense when it's easy to place the order, have them walk into your front door and put it on your countertop. That frees you up to do all the other things that, you know, would make it prohibitive for you to do that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that plays to Amazon's strengths right there. They, this isn't their only time doing this um, this as well earlier this month. And I can't remember, I don't think we talked about it on the show because I just discovered it today, but Amazon began a pilot program with Daimler uh, to deliver packages to the trunk of your car. That is the weirdest part of this story. Like, why, why the trunk of my car? It's like, I'm already out. Why don't I just buy the thing? Why did I have to order it from Amazon if I'm driving around? I guess if you're going to be out and about doing stuff, the thing might just might as well just magically appear right. in the trunk of your car. Like I said, right? just drop it on my head wherever I am. You know, you said, like, we live more productive lives. I think we live, and you said we were busy and chaotic. I think we're more busy and chaotic than we are productive. Like, I, I think this, yeah. we're more well, productive. Well, in, in our brains, we might think we're yeah. productive. We're not. But yeah, and, and all of the conveniences in air quotes that the internet brings, we think that this makes things better, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe it just makes things worse. Yeah. <laughs> and that's outside of Amazon's problems. That's right. our own problem. That's my problem, basically. Exactly. Yeah.